Welcome to Beef Minutes. My name is Dare Bullock. I'm one of the beef specialists at the University of Kentucky, specializing in beef cattle genetics. Today, I want to talk to you about analyzing past bull performance. Of course, when you purchase your new bulls, we hope you're using EPDs to get that task done, but we want to look back and see how the bulls we've bought in the past are doing for us today. There's two different areas that we need to think about when we're going to analyze past bull performance. One is going to be if you kept back replacement females, how is your cow herd doing? How are they holding up? And the other is, is for your most recent bull, how good is this calf crop? Okay, so let's talk about our cow herd first. Uh, it's, we're coming into fall, as you can see by, see by the picture behind me, late summer, fall, cows are, are out grazing fescue and uh, trying to seek some relief a lot of times. Uh, not that this is an ideal situation, but it, it is a fact for many Kentucky farmers. Uh, and, and so as we go into weaning, that cow that you have, she's been lactating now for six or seven or eight months. And so in a lot of cases, she will have lost some condition. And that's okay. We would expect if they're doing a good job in, uh, of milking, a proper job, that they're going to lose some condition. But we need to be concerned if they've lost an excessive amount of condition. If they're down in a body condition score of three uh, or even less, then, then we've got an issue. We're not doing a good enough job either providing the nutrients to our cow herd or we purchased a bull and kept back a replacement that may have too much milking ability for our particular environment. So that's one thing we need to look at is the condition. So if you have vastly under conditioned cows, particularly from certain bulls, then uh, we need to be concerned either that we're not getting enough nutrients to our cows, or like I say, they may have had too much milk. Go back if you can and see what the EPDs for milk of the bulls that sired those cows are. Or if you have registration numbers, you can see what the current milk value is. And if, it's, if, and if you do have this issue, then maybe in the future, try and buy a bull that would have a lower milk EPD uh, so that you don't get into this problem. On the flip side, if we're going into weaning and your cows are excessively conditioned, then we have one of two issues. Either we're not getting enough production out of that cow or she's not milking enough, or we're not stocking at a high enough rate, okay? Because if our cows are, if, if our cows are over conditioned, uh, then, then we, particularly at weaning time, uh, then we're not properly getting all that we can out of our resources, okay? So that's kind of how we need to analyze uh, the cow herd and, and, and look back and see how good a job we did with the bull when we kept back replacements. Now let's think about the calf crop we have today. How good are your calves or how large are your calves? What we want to do is try and produce as many pounds off of our acres as we can. But we have to be careful, particularly when we keep back replacements. Uh, we want a big calf. The heavier the calf, of course, the more dollars you get back. But if you keep back replacements and we've produced extremely or we had an extremely high growth bull and got the big growthy calves, then we have to remember those cows or females that we save back are gonna make very big cows. And so uh, once again, it's trying to match our resources correctly. So we do want a big calf and, and think of it kind of on a, on a proportion to the cow. Uh, we want a calf that if we have great big cows, then they should be having large calves to, to account for that extra resources that they're consuming, okay? So it's a fine line and I know it, it takes a lot of work and effort to kind of figure out exactly how much uh, genetics to put into our herd to match our resources. But we don't need to be just over aggressive and think, well, I hear the comment a lot of times, well, I don't have very good resources, so I'm gonna buy really good genetics to make up for that. And that's really the opposite of how we need to be thinking. If we have limited resources, then we have need to moderate the level of production we get through genetics for both milk and growth. And so it, it's a little counterintuitive, but I think in the long run, that's gonna help with your overall pregnancy rate. We can keep our cows in good condition and get them rebred each year. That's the main goal, even if we give up a few pounds on calf weight. My name is Dare Bullock, and that, those are beef minutes for today. I look forward to talking with you in the future. Have a good day.